Things happen to the world. It began in our homes. A stalking, creeping thing that crawled into our beds and hid behind our doors. It began with our loved ones. The violence soon took to the streets, gleeful and enthusiastic. It exhausted the rescue services, it overran the military. For a time there was only noise and confusion, but now it's all gone silent. It's not too late, the world is still out there. The pieces can fit together again. I can save it, but not without help. And so I found you, a lone child in a quiet place. I'm glad you're here with me. I know where we have to go. I remember the room. I'll take us there right now. Just follow my voice. A small act should be enough. Great, that worked. Here we are. Uh, I, I know the whole situation's a little confusing right now, but all I need you to do is push the big red button. The one right over there. That's a funny looking device. Wonder what it does. Well, let's go ahead and keep that thing. You never know. Anyway, red button. Wait. This isn't right. What's going on? Did we miss something? Oh, God. No, 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 no! Hey, kiddo, you awake? Feeling all right? Good, good. That didn't quite work out back there, I'm sure you noticed. So there must be something else that needs taken care of first, and we should find out what that is. Try walking around for a bit. Let's get our bearings. Someone left something behind here. Break out that gizmo of yours. Let's see if we can find it. Okay, I'll admit that it's pretty fun to swing the hammer around. Not much room for that when you're keeping trains from crapping out. Still, they could at least get someone else down here to help hold the planks. Damn it. I'm a train mechanic, not a railway worker. Someone's gotta fix the bridge. Fine. Get anyone to do it. I don't know any more about bridges than the next guy. Ah, I need a hit. Ah, 
last of the planks now. Can't wait to get out of here. Good enough. Should hold for people on foot at least. Hmm. The experience is different every time. Unique, like the, the shards of a broken window. But they're all like dreams at first, half forgotten and hazy. Then it becomes clear and it's like they're right next to you. Isn't that strange? Anyway, let's move along. There's more to be done. Park. Lush, tranquil, secluded. They built it for the view and the symbolism and the utility. This is the city of Chernosk, where innovation is key and even the architecture is experimental. Let's have a look around the park. I think we're going to find something here. Maintenance. I don't see any stairs. This is a fire hazard. For the record, I did say this was the city of innovation and not the city of functioning utilities. set up a trust fund for Joyce when she was born. Assorted stocks and assets, but mostly shares from the Institute. Part of the annual bonus packages. It's all worthless now, unless someone goes back there. And no one is ever going back there. Him. Gotta be him with those golden glasses. He's been following us. 
I knew it. Did he see me? No, no, couldn't have. Oh God, Joyce! Where's Joyce? Look at it, eh? Oh, mine. When the Filatovs went running off, I bet they never thought their stuff was gonna see business again. Stupid bastards coulda made a killing if they'd had a brain between them. Petcha they're laid up in a ditch instead. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a family in Chernosk. They had a big treasure full of shiny things. But the mean blue dragon was always trying to take it away from them. So they told their knight, Sir Potochnik, to hide the treasure. And hide it he did. I remember something. A long screaming sound. And an endless silence. That was before I opened my eyes. Before I found you. Keep your voice down, idiot. Yeah, I have it. What do you have? Lorazepam. Here, look. 24 doses, and it's popular already. <laughs> 